All right, the burner cans. I said I was going to do something different. I'm using Mr. Metal Color Dark Iron. Now this is uh, a buffable paint. It's uh, pretty messy and pretty smelly. But on jet aircraft, we can really see the uh, burner cans nicely. I like to use this stuff. It gives a nice effect. I use an old airbrush, a cheap airbrush to spray it. It's heavy in the pigment. You can use your good airbrush, but you have to give it a good clean out afterwards. And uh, I keep, for normal airbrushing, I have one for your lacquers and one for acrylics, trying to keep them separate. But this, for this, I use an old airbrush and it's got like a, I think it's a 0.5 or a 0.6 needle in it. So we, uh, I've got it loaded up. You can see it's uh, pretty thick and heavy. Oh, sorry about that um, difficulty. Now. Here we go. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look much there. Then when we're finished here, we'll go over and we'll polish it up. I'll just spray up the other one and then we'll give it a polish. Okay, back over here. So we've sprayed down now metalizer paint, wear a glove because this stuff just keeps on giving. It's uh, like I said, it's messy, but it gives a great effect. I love it. Cotton bud, and just start rubbing it. You can see it polishes it up. Alright, you know, so we see where we airbrushed it on. You can see it's really dull. It looks uh, like dusty. Like I said, this paint's heavy in the pigment, so that's why I use an old airbrush. And you saw even then I still had troubles, even though I gave it a clean, flushed it before I used it. So I knew it would spray, I still had some troubles. But just really love the effect this gives. It suits the uh, pedals, I think, on the uh, burner cans. So I'll keep polishing it up inside as well. And then we'll come back when I'm finished on both. Right, before I finish the second one, there we go, there's a, the before and after on the outside. I still got to do the inside of the first one. Alright, so that's the first step. Now I'm going to add some heat heat damage or staining, whatever you want to say it. I'm going to use some AK String Metal Metallic Blue and Metallic Purple. So I've already got some in the airbrush. I'm back to my normal lacquer airbrush now. It's a point two. And just random on your pedals. You want subtle. Don't want to overdo it. It might be hard to pick up, but it's there. Just a hint of the blue. 
don't want to overdo it because there's more colors going on top so you don't want to obliterate one color with the next color type thing so I'm gonna continue on with that and then we're gonna come back all right hopefully you can see tints of purple and blue through there that's the next step after that now I'm going to go with uh, AK Extreme Burnt Metal this bottle's starting to give it old so it's starting to get a little bit thick so I might have some splurts going on here when I'm airbrushing this is another random randomly spraying it Again, just uh, subtle because you don't want to go over the work you've already done and cover all that up otherwise what's the point all right. this is awkward for me trying to do this so forgive my clumsiness and whatnot so you can start to see the uh, difference in between them so I'll just continue on with that so I can move this camera out of the way so I can see what I'm doing properly and we'll come back again okay again like I said subtle don't want to cover up <clears throat> our previous work on the inside though I blasted it heavier because this is where you're going to get the majority of the damage. All right, and the last step is going to be jet exhaust. <clears throat> Same again, I'm going to blast it inside, but I usually do a bit around the end of the, the uh, feathers, petals. Thanks, see already the difference. Just all these things just add up to uh, create a nice effect. All right, I'll continue on and then I'll show you at the end what we got. Okay, the finished product. Uh, so there you go. Hopefully you can pick out. We got our base color. We can still see that. We can also see hints of the blue and purple metal work, burnt metal or heated metal. Inside is more grimy with the the burnt metal and jet exhaust paints. Uh, so this paint, I need to point out, like I said, it's messy and that, but also even after you've polished it, it'll, you'll still get transfer. Uh, usually when I use this as my metal work, I won't give it the uh, clear treatment with uh, I use this for metal work it keeps the shine um, but for this stuff I usually don't use it uh, I think it might dull it a bit um, so I keep it raw if I can and for this case on the Phantom it's perfect because these will go in right at the end because they just plug into the back so I don't need to worry about putting them in now and getting taping them up and things like that that could possibly damage it so there you go that's how I do the uh, burner cans like I said on jets that really stand out like your Phantoms, your F-16s uh, it 
just adds a nice effect. That's an area people are drawn to when they look at the model. So that with the uh, previous metalwork I did under the tail, it'll be a nice, I'll just plug it in and have a look. We got a nice look going on.